This week, Seasons Illustrated focused on Rebecca, and I learned a lot from her story. Rebecca did not mess around. I enjoyed reading about her life this week and the role she played in history. She was stepping up to answer prayers even before they were done being spoken. When Abraham's servant was told to go find a wife for Isaac, he asked the Lord for help. Rebecca was ready to respond before he was even done speaking the prayer. That's pretty awesome. And when she found out that she was answering a prayer and asked to return and step into a new role, she didn't hesitate to go off to a new land. But later on in the story, a bit of controversy erupts, at least to those that get the chance to look in from the outside. You see, when Rebecca was pregnant with her twins, the Lord told her the odor would serve the younger. Later on, as her husband was about to die and bestow the blessing, Rebecca overheard. And in that moment, she decided that the odor would serve the younger. So she grabbed her younger son, disguised him as the odor, and sent him in to receive the blessing. Whether her act of trickery was part of God's plan all along or her hurrying the plan along herself one thing's for certain God did choose Rebecca and I find peace in that he still chooses us he chooses us even if from time to time we hear him wrong act a bit too quickly or get ahead of him after all he is the redeemer I pray that as I look back at times that I let my good intentions cause hurt feelings or lead to deceitful actions that God redeems those instances and that as I move forward in life I learn to walk in step with him not ahead or behind in the name of Jesus. So how has the story of Rebecca affected your life? Do you ever feel that you're moving ahead of God that you're on the right path but just a few steps ahead of his timing? please let me know. Also let me know if you're enjoying this Woman of Valor study from Seasons Illustrated. I am. Until next time. This response to Seasons Illustrated study is part of Artful Devo. I am all about learning from the word, applying it to my life, creating something cool with it, and then sharing it with others. If you want to learn how to do this for yourself, please check me out at artfuldevo.com.